Hi folks, this is Darren with My RV Works. Today we're in Blinn, Washington, which is just east of Squim, Washington. And we're working on this RV here, uh, uh, Seahawk screen, <laughs> and uh, had to put that in there. The customer states that this RV is having issues with uh, something with the battery. They're not quite sure. The leveling jack is not working. When they go to connect their, their wires on the battery, it's, it's draining the battery down. There's an arc. Uh, there are systems that are not working inside. Um, so come along with us. Let's follow the trail of 12 volts. Let's see if we can't figure out what's wrong with this. And we're going to start with this battery right here. We're going to see which way this problem is going to go. Is it the battery that's bad? Is it the wiring that's bad? So let's begin the journey together. Okay, so we're gonna use our meter. The first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna check this battery. So I'm gonna put my meter in DC and let's jump in here, plus and minus. I have seen batteries that are reverse polarity. 12.7 volts DC, positive polarity. So the battery's good. Um, now I'm gonna put it in continuity test. So that means that when I touch these two leads together, I get a beep. Two white wires here are gonna be my ground. So I'm going to make sure that I get continuity between these two white wires and ground. I've got a ground nod right there. Okay, that one's good. Let's try this one. That one's good. Okay, now I've got, uh, this is the red wire that would be connected to the battery plus. I want to see if he's got continuity. Ah, there's our problem. So this red wire is somehow dead shorted to the frame. And that might explain why they're getting an arc. Uh, they've also explained that they're stated that their uh, jack's not working. So let's check the jack to ground. Okay, the jack's good. Um, okay, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be following this red wire throughout the coach, this big red one right here, and see if we can figure out where it's touching the frame because that's the problem. Basically, what we have is all these wires are effectively one wire. So this battery plus and minus lug is basically touching this frame. So we know that the red wire is touching. Here is one end of the red wire. We need to verify which one is coming from the uh, frame. One of these red wires is um, one of these red wires is coming from the um, converter which is right here. The other red wire is going to the coach, or to the battery. I'm trying to work and think at the same time. So the red wire we're after is this one here. Okay. Here's our red wire right here. We wanted to verify. Now I'm looking in here. I don't see any rodent damage, which is sometimes what you might expect to find. But it's, uh, you know, a lot of wiring mess, but it's not bad. It's acceptable. So, so here's our red wire right here. And what I want to do is isolate it, okay, and see continuity test again, right? So I need a good ground reference. And a lot of times a good ground reference is a receptacle ground plug um, or a gas line. So let's see if this gas line has a good ground reference. I'm looking for, I don't want a beep, but I expect a beep. Okay, I do not have a beep. Let's see if there's a beep here. Ah, there's a beep here. Okay, so let me explain what I'm finding here. I'm using the gas line as a ground reference. The gas line should be bonded to the frame. And this is the other end of the red wire. When we were at the battery, and we touch the red wire to the frame, it beeped. This is the other end of the red wire. Touching it to the frame, no beep. But that red wire was attached here, still referencing the frame. When I touch the lug, I get a beep, okay? So at this point, we've pretty much eliminated it being a problem with the wiring between the battery and here. So let's go prove that before we go into this um, converter here. Okay, so I wanted to come back out here Meter is in continuity. I get a beep. We know that we're beeping here with white, which is what we want. We want to beep on this one. We do. Now we've disconnected the red wire on the inside. I do not expect a beep. Let's check. 
no beep. Okay, so we now have chased this thing. We're following the trail of 12 volts, and now the trail has led us into the converter panel. So let's go back inside. We'll start pulling fuses and see if we can isolate the circuit. Okay, so we wanted to prove that out. So now we know that it's not the wire, and I need a good ground reference. Um, I could use this up here, and I don't know if my alligator clips are going to grab that high. Also over here, we know the ground. Okay, so this, ye this yellow wire is also ground. Uh, it's the ground to the solenoids down on the furnace, so we got a beep. So we have good ground. So we can leave that over out of the way. Because what we're trying to do is reference the frame. Okay, so we know that this is dead. We know that he's not dead. So let me grab this. It's going to beep for a long time. I'm going to start pulling all these fuses until I get one of them to shut up. So I'm just going to pull one fuse at a time. And look at that. He's now quiet. Put it back in. Okay. Okay, so now. Okay, we now have found the circuit. Turns out it's a second from the top. It's a black circuit. So you see how we did that. Um, let's see if we can find the legend. Okay, here we go. That states that it is center. Front, center, rear, pump, front, center. So all this, all this tells me is center. So that doesn't help. Okay, so by pulling this fuse... Again, we're, we're, we're narrowing it down, okay? We know it's not the battery. We, we've eliminated it being the wire. We, we, we found him hiding in here somewhere. We pulled all the fuses, and now we've realized that it's this black circuit, and all it tells me on the legend is that it's center. So now that we know that it's the black circuit, um, I don't know what center would be. Uh, front, center, rear, pump, refrigerator, slide room. TV radio propane detector. Uh, center what? I would like to solve the puzzle here. So, um, now what I want to do next is make sure if it's this wire. So what I'm going to do is pull this wire out. Okay. Here's my wire. I'm looking for a beep. Okay. There's my beep. Okay. And it is a dead short. It's zero resistance between the two. So now I can put my fuse back in. Okay, so now we're chasing this thing. We know it's not this. We can actually put this back in. So now we got to figure out where this black wire goes. Um, so let me... You don't need to watch me do this. I'm going to try to figure out where what center means on this, okay? So when we come back, we'll know what center means. But we've got we've got the problem isolated to this wire to the circuit specifically, okay? You know, folks, we're at the end of the trail and I'm kind of bittersweet sad. Um, we had the beep, but the beep disappeared on me. We had it down here, remember the black circuit, and then I just randomly picked the light right above me up here and uh, I found the black circuit up there and there was three other black wires. And so follow with me on this. I, I took the wire nut off and I separated the three black wires and I was expecting to find the black beep on one of those wires, that one being the guilty party. And maybe this is the one that is shorted to the frame somehow. And when you're bonded all together, now it's all over the place. Maybe by pulling those wires out a little bit out of the ceiling, um, I may have interrupted something, but it's not worth ripping the whole RV apart to try to find that. That would be a very expensive bill, <laughs> only to maybe never even find the problem. As of right now, there is no more short anymore. The light's on, we've checked the front jack, the jack's working, we're connected back up to the battery. Um, we've been letting these lights run because if there was a problem, then I would expect that problem to be revealed in the form of heat. And I've got my FLIR meter here where we've shined it on this panel here looking for a heat signature of any type, it's not. So by moving the wires around, the thing disappeared on us. Uh, no more beeping, we hooked everything back up, torqued all of our screws, 
and um, the problem's gone. So it might be one of these intermittent things where it might come back after you drive around the roads a little bit more, or maybe it's gone forever. But I was hoping to share with you the smoking gun. I wanted to find that melted wire or that insulated, uh, that insulation that's all torn up or whatever, but I was not able to find that. So, uh, so we're at the end of the trail. So um, if you found value in this in any way, even though it didn't produce good fruit, uh, give us a thumb up. That does help us. If you like these videos, subscribe to our channel. And when we have new videos come out, you'll get a little blurb on your email that Darren's made a new video. Share this with some friends. Happy Camper Say My RV Works. So Darren from my, where, where am I at? Blinn, Washington. I'm going to sign off and button the rest of this up and get on down the trail. So thanks for watching.